Hello again, everybody. Welcome back to Desert Sky Adventures. It is Hell Dorado Friday, October 20th, 2023. And I am down here on Allen Street getting ready for the big event. Now, Friday is typically the lighter day of the three, so it might not be as busy today as it's going to be for the rest of the weekend. But we're going to take a look around and show you what's going on. As always, I'm inviting you guys to come along with me. Let's go check out Hell Dorado Days 2023. Before we get too far into it, I just want to address the Barry Corbin event, which I had mentioned in the last video I would be live streaming here on Desert Sky Adventures. Well, the city had asked me to live stream that event and uh, they changed their mind. They would now rather have me film it. Um, so I apologize to those of you who wanted to see it live. Uh, those things are beyond my control, but they decided to change their mind on that. And you still can see it. You just won't be able to see it live. I'm going to be filming it and it will be on the uh, Discover Tombstone YouTube channel shortly after the event is done, probably on uh, Sunday morning at the latest. So just want to give you a little heads up on that. It will not be live here, but you can still see it on Discover Tombstone YouTube. This is it, 11 o'clock, one and only world famous, O.K. Corral. Got the O.K. Corral guys out here taking photos with some of the guests. And I'm told they're going to be doing at least three shows a day throughout El Dorado, maybe even four. So if you're interested, come right over here to that OK Corral sign and get your tickets there. It is a cool show you don't want to miss. And speaking of the gunfight shows, if you like gunfights, this is a great time to be here because not only are there going to be gunfights out here on Allen Street, but the other uh, gunfight locations around town are open as well. The OK Corral is open. The saloon theater down there on the end of Allen Street is open and the Comedy Gunfight Show, which is right down the street behind me here, uh, they're open as well. So there's a, uh, three gunfight shows that you can see um, that are, you, you uh, buy admission, get a ticket for that. And the gunfight shows out in the street are completely free. So come down and check it out. Let's go, let's go, let's get this party rolling. Right here Amen. in front of Arlene's Southwest, this is where the Hell Dorado event registration is. And you can also get your raffle tickets right here and enter a drawing to win a Henry rifle. In fact, there it is right there. Somebody's gonna win that. You've also got your Hell Dorado merch over here, your t-shirts, looks like they got some bags. It's a good example of what the shirts look like. Available right here at this tent. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to Tombstone and Hell Dorado 2023. The group you see before you is the Hell Dorado cast, a group of volunteers made up of the general public and also reenactors from other groups, including the Tombstone Vigilantes. Now, the ropes before you are for your safety and protection. You need to stay behind these ropes at all times whenever the cast members are performing because you're going to see a lot of gunfire for the next three days and we're gonna show you why. That aluminum can that you see, Mr. Judd Patrick, my namesake there, uh, fooling with, is nearly the same cons consistency and density as that of your skin, but it can still be extremely dangerous. Mr. Judd, show them how dangerous it could be. Now that was a blank. And although we use the safest ammunition for reenactment purposes available, that is extremely dangerous. <laughs> it looks like directly across the street from the birdcage, there is a tractor exhibit, which I have seen these guys out here before for different events, but they're showing off all these old tractors from 1948. Oh, you're good. Sorry. It's 
Those old tractors are kind of cool to see. And I'm told that every one of them actually runs. It's a good thing we're here to see it today because tomorrow it's going to be really packed over here. <laughs> it might be a little harder to get a look. How you doing? Also, right in front of the Tractor Museum, I found this JW's Mini Mobile Museum. Are you JW? I am. I'm Dave. Hi, Dave. Nice to meet you. Same here. I'm just... handicapped, but I jump up. Oh, no worries. I'm just <laughs> taking a look at some of the old equipment here. Yeah. Is this stuff that you've all collected yourself? or? Yeah, over the years. Wow. Some of it was my dad. What are these? Those are little miniature hit and miss engines. Oh, wow, okay. Yeah. Kind of like those ones, but smaller. Yeah. Oh, okay, I gotcha. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah, pretty much woodworking tools on this side and uh -huh. mechanic stuff over here on this side. Man, look at those old wrenches. <laughs> you don't see them like that anymore, do you? Thank you very much for letting me take a look. You bet. My pleasure. Wanted to come back down and take a look at Discover Tombstone Field. As of right now, I'd say it's probably 1130. The entire parking area is empty. So everyone who was here today managed to find parking on the street or in one of the small parking lots. But that will not be the case tomorrow. This place is going to be crazy tomorrow. There's probably still a lot of people making their way into town and stuff like that. But like I said in Wednesday's video, this will probably be your best bet for parking. If you don't want to look around for a long time, discover Tombstone Field right next to the old Tombstone High School. Making my way down to the Oriental Saloon now. And looky here, the bounty board. Not only has it been repainted, but they've got some new posters up. Just in time for the big event weekend. So one of the very cool things about El Dorado weekend is that everything is open. All the stagecoaches are open, all the restaurants and bars are open, which if you plan on going to any of those, especially Saturday or Sunday, make sure to bring your patience it's going to be a little rough to get in there. Probably a little bit of a wait. It gets very busy at El Dorado. Another thing people like to do during El Dorado is get dressed up in their old West clothing. And uh, fun fact, you cannot take, if you plan on wearing a sidearm, you can't take that into a bar or a restaurant. So if you're looking 
for some place to store that so that you can go in those places, come right over here to the Undertaker's Espresso Bar on Allen Street. For free, they will check your weapon until you can come back from your bar, your restaurant, or wherever you want to go. And look, there's Brooke. What's up, Brooke? Good. I was just telling everybody about your uh, gun storage over here. Hey, Wyatt. There's Wyatt back there. Let me know when you're ready. Whenever you're ready. How long did you did you have to practice to learn to do that? Uh, five minutes. Five minutes. That's it. <laughs> no, I've been doing this for years. Yeah, I was gonna say I think they're a little harder than that, but <laughs> it's easy to learn though. All right, because yeah, it's uh, breathing in, breathing out and then having it uh, touching your teeth and in your mouth becomes the resonator. Right. And then what you're doing with the inside of your mouth, like uh, blowing in or blowing out, you have your tongue going forward, tongue going back, tongue going up or down, right, left, all produces different sounds. And they call that a jaw harp, right? Jaw harp, uh, has a mouth harp or juice harp. There's many names for it. Oh, wow, cool. All right, thank you very much. All right, take care now. Enjoy your day. But uh, I'm hoping by this time tomorrow, this whole area is going to be packed with people. Friday is kind of the quiet day. So a bit of breaking news over here at the Oriental Saloon. I was just informed that they are going to be doing their gunfight shows in there throughout the weekend. So all four of the gunfight shows in Tombstone are open. The mines are open. The Outlaw Zipline is open. All the bars and restaurants are going to be open. And it's going to be packed, so get here early. So it's now almost one o'clock. The streets are filling up, but still nothing compared to how it's going to be tomorrow. I think for now, I might head in here to the Hotel Tombstone and grab me a milkshake. All right, well, I just had a fantastic chocolate shake right over here at the Tombstone Arcade and Hotel Tombstone, as it's known. But don't forget, if you come down here and if you're in the need, you can rent strollers, wheelchairs, little carts. They even have replica pistols in there if you're looking to top off your costume and you need a gun. All these things are available for $25 per day right here at the Hotel Tombstone. All right, folks, that'll wrap it up for my little Helderado preview from Helderado Friday, the quiet day here at the Helderado Days Festival in Tombstone. But we'll be back out here tomorrow. Uh, Paul and I and the whole crew are going to go full 1880s garb. So if you come out here, uh, look out for that. I'll be looking a little different tomorrow, so it might be harder to find. But did get a chance to meet a couple of you today and uh, everyone's real nice and it's always fun to meet you guys so come say hey if you get a chance but uh again we'll be back out here tomorrow and uh that barry corbin event like i said earlier will not be live on desert sky adventures but it will be on discover tombstone youtube i will put the link to that down in the comments but uh, i think that'll wrap it up for today folks so if you're coming down remember to bring your patience get here early and have a good time but that'll wrap it up for today so until next time, until the next video, see you down the road.